In this video, we're going to look at how we can navigate into the SAP S4 HANA system, whether it's customizing, whether it's a GUI, or whether it's a Fury apps. So let me show you. So as you know that from the end user perspective, especially we can access the system either uh, mainly from the Fury apps and also uh, we can access the GUI screen. So from end user perspective, they're mostly using the Fury apps, but again, they can use a GUI screen for creating the transactions and, ma and master data. So let me show you how we can access, how we can log into the system first. So you will, in your system, you will see the SAP logon icon. So double click on it. And here you will see the link for logon. So this is a link in my system and it will have all the login details. So in your system, you can also use your login ID uh, provided by the your provider. Um, so let me double click on it. So again, if you are all already experienced in SAP, you can skip this video. This is only for the freshers. So here I will use my login ID and my password. So if you're entering your password first time, system will prompt you to change it during the first login. So that's my GUI screen. So this is my GUI screen where I can access my system. For example, here you can see cross application components. So that's how the, the traditional, the old ECC system was where you can access the transactions from here as well. You can see for, the, for example, logistics. And then you can see, for example, sales and distribution. So salespeople will be using this system, for example, go to orders, create the order. For example, double click on VA01, you can create the order from here. Or you can or you can directly type VA01 transaction in the command bar here. So if I type VA01, press enter, you can open the order. Again, I can go back. I can also enter if I want to open an invoice, I can open EBF02, which is for invoice. So slowly, slowly, as you use the system, you will automatically remember the transaction codes and you can directly enter on the top screen here in the command bar. But for now, you can use this navigation here. So whether you're in SD, whether in MM, doesn't matter what module you're working in. For example, if I'm in a production planning guy, I can access this production planning menu. I can go to the shop floor control, open orders. And here you can see create production order screen, which is CO01 is a transaction to create the production orders. So that's how you navigate. Also, you can create your favorites here. For example, I can create my favorite. For example, I need to, if I'm in SD, I can create, I can right click on the favorite and I can insert a transaction. For example, I can say my favorite transaction or the one that I'm using every time is VA01 creating the order, I can select OK. So I can create my favorite here like this. So every time I don't need to go to the, this menu path, I can directly, from my favorite, I can directly double click on it and I can open the transaction. There are many other things you can do. For example, under the favorites, I can right click. I can also create folders and under folders, I can create further transactions. So if I click on right click and then insert folder, give it a folder name. I, I can, for example, I can call it order processing. So here under this folder, I can enter my favorite transaction. For example, this VO01, I can drag and drop under this one. Like this, you can see this under this one. I can again right click on the folder and insert transaction and I can enter some other transaction, for example, VA21, which is for the quotation. So that's how you can create this one. And for example, I can close this folder, open this folder. I can again right click on the favorite. I can create uh, insert folder. I can create one more folder. For example, if I'm also doing some MM activities, material management, I can say purchase order pro processing, for example. And then under this folder, I can create my enter my favorite transaction, right click, insert transaction, ME21, and is the sales order creation transaction, I can create my favorite here. So here like this, you can see them and you can also drag and drop them. For example, this favorite, this favorite I want to move 
to the bottom I can drag and drop wherever I want like this so you can play with your system create a folder favorite folders if you want but usually we use for the end user perspective we use the fury app and and we'll, we'll log into the fury app now we'll talk fury app in a minute and this is the main front end screen where basically the end users accessing it by in the traditional system but as i said with s4 hana all the end users are supposed to use the fury app not this one but again they can access this one then we'll talk about some other stuff for example yes one more important thing in your system if you're looking at the screen something like on my right hand screen this is the new screen and this is the old traditional screen now this is the new screen is only because of the gui version if your gui version is 760 or above then you will see something like this and all the older version they like, look like this so i personally like the older version especially the people who are already working in sap for many years they still used to the older version and if you want to change the look then i show you the options so this is a gui so here this is showing me as sap login 740 so if you're using 760 760 has a different look but you can change the look back to the traditional look i show you here you can click on options right click on let me let me start again here click on this little icon on the the last icon click on options and then here under the visual design theme preview setting only for the um, latest version of sap uh, gui so somewhere here you will see some option because i'm still using my old gui so i can't see that so here somewhere you will see some option to change the screen layout so you i think you should be able to see something called use corbo style icon and so just play with that screen and see which one is the traditional look so you can change the look as well here so let me close this one so that's one thing the look you can change if you want if you're happy with the new look that's still okay and now we'll talk about some other settings um, for the gui screen like changing the font size etc so here go to the options again click on this little icon click on options again here um yeah before i show you that option but make sure that you in your system you click on under interactive design click on visualization one and make sure you select this one and this both of them this one and this one what this is this will activate the key and the description so what that means is let me show you so in my system for example if i open any transaction here or wherever you can see va21 create sales quotation but if you uncheck that one you won't see the va21 it will only show you the description so same whether you're looking at here whether looking at here for example whether i look at here say whatever transaction for example say master data so with every transaction here I can see my key so that's a key which is mmh1 and the description is create but if that checkbox is not ticked you will only see create as a description you won't see mmh1 for any of the transaction here so it's very important that you select these two and then we can go to the other settings like visualization let me there's not much here so let me show you them so you can there's different settings here and you can play with that they're very easy to understand and if you want to see more details you can click on this help here if i click on help it will show me another screen where you will see the details of what which functionality doing what so you can see all the settings available what they mean etc so for now here i will close uh this one the help screen and i go back to this one okay so here basically i want to show you the font size so if you go to the visual design font settings here you can change the font size for example at the at the moment my font size is 12 and the font type is Korean new i can select click on select 
So here I can select the font type, like courier or whatever you want to change, and regular italic bold. And also you can change the size. For example, if I want to make it bigger, say for example, if I make it 20, and I say okay. So it was 12, now it's 20. If I click on apply, then okay. Now you will notice that it will not affect this one, but for that you need to open a new screen. You can open a new screen using this little icon. If I click on new, create new screen. So you can see it's much bigger. So 20 is much bigger. So you can make it smaller or bigger. So if I click on options again, so you can see it's too big. I can then change it back to 12. So you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, depending on your monitor size as well. Apply. Okay. So if I close this and I can, again I open one more screen, it will go back to the 12 font size. So you can increase it, decrease it as per your screen size. This is the icon to open a new screen. We can open maximum of six screen and we can perform different transactions in different screen. For example, here I'm using, I'm doing something say VA01, that's my one screen. And the same time I can have one more screen. Let me show you this one. Yeah, that's open here. And here I can have another screen, for example, um, MM02, which is a material master. So at the same time, I can have two screens. For some reason, it's taking a while. And apart from this, we also talk about um, the transaction code to open the Fury Launchpad. So that's a transaction slash n slash ui2 slash flp. So that's the uh, transaction code to launch to open the Fury Launchpad, the browser, which is used by the end user, power user, functional and technical consultant. And then we have another thing called Fury Launchpad Designer. And the transition code is slash n slash ui2 slash flpd underscore cust. This is basically for functional and technical consultant they, where they will be designing or changing the design of the standard uh, Fury apps. So in a, in a separate video, I'll talk, I'll teach you more about how we can design a new application. Um, but for now, I'll just show you this, uh, the first one, how you can launch the Fury. So here my screen is open. You can see one screen is this one. And if I minimize this one or I can make it smaller, that's one screen. That's another screen here behind me, which is Material Master. So this way you can open maximum of six screen. So if I click on this again, I, I got another screen. So this way I can have maximum six screens and on each screen I can perform different tasks. Now to go to the customizing, uh, what what you need to do is to enter the transition code SPRO, press enter, and then click on reference SAP reference IMG. It will take you to the display IMG where we can do all the customizing. Now only the consultant level people will have access to this transaction or go to this screen where they can change the customizing. End users they do not have access to this one because providing this access to a uh, to a normal person like end user, they can change some setting which can again mess up the whole system. So only consultant will be able to change this setting. So in the next videos when I'll teach you more about the customizing setting, every customizing setting is derived from here. For example, if I scroll down, not even ST module, all the modules, MM modules, uh, FICO modules, PP modules, everything is done from here. So here you can see sales and distribution, under, under, uh, under this one you can see sales and here there are different settings available. For example, sales document header, how we can customize the sales documents, items, schedule lines, etc., etc. So whether you're working in say um, production module. So if I open the production module and here you can see basic data in the production planning, work center, etc. And they, there are different customizing available here. So I can go back, either I can click on exit it will jump to the other uh, main screen, the home screen, or I can press slash and press enter, it will jump to the home screen. 
So again, we'll talk more about customizing when we reach those topics. Now for now, I'm going to show you how you can open the Fury Launchpad. So I already created my shortcut for the Fury Launchpad, which is slash n slash ui2 slash flp. So if I double click on it, it will try to open the Fury Launchpad. By default, it will open on the, um, with the, uh, the Internet Explorer browser but you can use the link and open the open via the Chrome. I personally like the Chrome. Here I can click on this, continue to the website and here you can enter. It should, because I already logged in before, it's not asking me for the login details, but first time it will ask you to enter the password and the user ID. Please note that the user ID used for the Fury app and GUI is always same. For example, whatever password you're using to log into GUI and ID is exactly same. If you change your password here for GUI, the same password will be used for this one as well. Now here, I'm closing this one. I personally use the Chrome browser for this one. I already created a shortcut here, Fury browser. If I click on it, here you can see it's asking me for login details. So here I'll enter S20 user one and my password. and enter. So when you open it first time, I ask you to save your time in the future. You can click up, click on this favorite, click on favorite, give it a name, whatever you want and done. It will create a shortcut. And next time you don't need to use a transaction straight away. You can click on this uh, favorite and jump to the Fury apps. So that's your Fury apps. Again, in your screen, I'll talk more about the different settings different options available for the Fury apps. Um, but for now, you can see this zoom one. This is 90% in my one, but depending on your screen size, you can make it smaller, bigger like this. You can see it's going smaller. So if you, whatever's like this. So if I go to sales order, so this one, so like this, if I make it bigger, so that's your choice, how you want it to be. You can change it accordingly. Okay. So that's all about this one. So we'll learn more about uh, different customizing, different option available for Fury Launchpad and GI screen in the later videos. Again, thank you very much to watch this. We'll catch up in the next video.